Bring on the brackets. The NCAA has released its men's basketball field of 65, and unlike the last time Baylor made the big dance, the Bears didn't have to sweat out their, the fate of their, this year's team. Adam Winkler joins us live in the studio with more on this. Adam. Yeah, Gordon, this time of year, it's all about the big dance. And with a lofty national ranking to go along with their 25 wins, this year the Bears knew they would waltz into the field of 65. But don't get me wrong, the team was still pretty stoked when Baylor's name popped up on CBS, officially making BU a part of the 2010 tournament. And the fans in attendance at the watch party, well, they didn't hold back their excitement either. And can you blame them? Baylor earns a three seed in the big dance. The Bears have never been any higher than an eight seed in program history. So the combination of a high seed and a low stress level on Selection Sunday makes for one happy head coach. A lot of progress. <laughs> and, and again, the players get all the credit for that. And, and you're just happy as a coach to see their hard work from the summertime to the uh, preseason to the to the regular season payoff. Anytime you go three seed, I mean, that's, like you said, that's, that's the best they'll ever been uh, seeded. So, you know, we're going uh, gonna to take it uh, – with honor and, uh, you know, represented it well. As for their draw in the South region, the Bears will face the 14-seed Sam Houston State in their first-round game, which will be played this Thursday at 1.55 p.m. in New Orleans. And, of course, you can see that game right here on KWTX. And the Bears will have a very familiar foe joining them in the Big Easy this weekend. Later in sports, we'll fill you in on the fate of UT, A&M, and the other Texas teams that are dancing.